Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Maven tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will learn about scope, which is one more interesting and important concept in dependency management. So let's get started. So in the previous videos, we have seen how to add dependencies in our pom.xml file. Let's say we have this dependency J unit which we have added for our tests and we want that this dependency will only be you know related to our test and not to our source file because j unit we are not going to use probably in our uh, source code so we want to limit the scope of this j unit up to the level of scope so what we can do is just below the version you can add one more element here and then you can say scope okay so just write scope and inside the scope you can just write test here and this basically means is that this j unit is only limited to our test source file and not to the compiled source files right so in a way we are limiting the scope of our j unit uh, dependency up to only our test now there are different kind of scopes which are possible in uh, dependency management so this is uh, one kind of uh, scope which is test then there is one more uh, kind of scope which is uh, for example compile and compile is the default scope so if you don't define any scope by default it's uh, compile so compile is uh, available in your source code also and in the test files also or any other files also now there is one more uh, scope called runtime and this means is that this j unit will only available at the runtime so this scope indicates that the dependency is not required for the compilation but it is required for the execution of the jar file for example so this jar file will be present in the runtime and test class path but not in compile class paths okay so this is how you use run time scope now there is one more uh, type of scope which is called provided okay and this provided scope is much like compile but it indicates that you expect the jdk or a container to provide the dependency at runtime for example when uh, building a web application for Java EE you would uh, set the dependency on the servlet API and the related uh, Java EE API to scope provided because the web container provides those classes right so this scope is only available on the compilation and test class path but it's not available in transitive okay so this is how uh, you can use scope in uh, dependency management the scopes like runtime and other scopes are important when uh, you want to create an api which has uh, an interface and the implementation so basically when uh, a developer develops an application he wants to segregate his api in two uh, you know different uh, segments one is the interface and other is the implementation and this is done because the implementation if the developer want to change at any time he can change it and he don't need to change the interface and also the vice versa is also possible easily so i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now